It's buttery, flaky, and fresh. This ham and asparagus pastry bundle is elegant and delicious. You can pair it with a dip of Dijon mayo for a light spring bite or make this part of your Easter spread. Chef Lindsay Hargett is joining me in the Studio 5 kitchen to share her recipe. They look delicious. Aren't they so cute? Yeah. I love them. Oh, so great. You say this is good to get the kids and the grandkids involved in too. Yes, this is such a, it's like, it's like a craft. I'm not very crafty, but this is a food craft. So it's a really fun one and you can do it like assembly line and yeah. get everybody involved. Involved. It's so fun. It's a play with your food opportunity. Absolutely. We're starting with a store-bought shortcut. Yes, so puff pastry. It's not a new thing. We've all heard about it before, but I feel like people are kind of intimidated by it. Really, you put this in the oven and it puffs. Like it turns from this, you know, kind of looks sad to like golden and flaky <laughs> and it tastes delicious. So yeah. like always keep one in your freezer. It's delicious, so. The asparagus, you say, you do want to season beforehand. Yes, because it, you know, we want our vegetables to taste good. They need to Basically. taste good. <laughs> yes, so might as well season them. So you yeah. can do salt and pepper. I love doing like a lemon pepper rub. You can see on this one, it's got like big pieces of lemon pepper. It's mm. delicious. So we want that. And then when it goes in here, it will kind of add flavor to it instead of depending just on the ham and cheese. And you're not cooking, blanching anything no. ahead of time. Yeah, you don't have to cook that ahead of time. These are just tossed in just olive rock. oil and lemon pepper. And you're a chef, so you probably store, store your asparagus the right way upright in a no. Okay. <laughs> You're off the hook. I've seen a couple pictures already on social media that make me feel guilty yeah. about my poor asparagus that are tucked in a crisper. Nah. Okay, but you validate. You validate yeah. me today. Thank you. What, right. what else are we stuffing in there? Okay, so we're going to put some ham and cheese. Now, mm. with the ham, you could go store-bought. You know, you get it from the deli or you get it in those little containers, but we're always looking for ways to use up the leftover Easter ham. True. We always have that. Mm. So this is either great as a side for your Easter meal or make it the next day okay. and use your leftover Easter ham. And then we're using brie, so it's nice and fancy. Mm -hmm. But really, it's just like a really good melting cheese. It gives it a little tang to go with the kind of boring asparagus. Okay, so, show us how you roll this up. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna let you get hands on with me. Please, so yeah. we've got some brie here. That First of all, I have taken the, you can see on brie, it has this like white film to it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of annoying to cut, but if you use a potato peeler, it comes like right off. Oh, See how easy that is? Okay, so, nice. That's what we're doing with that. So you take the peel off and then we just want like the gooey interior. So yeah. really, it's like modeling clay. We're just gonna kind of <laughs> spread it a little more. <laughs> Fun, uh, huh? Uh -huh. Spread it a little so that it kind of goes, you know, spreads on its own way. So okay. then set that guy in I the middle. I have some texture on bottom, is that okay? Yep, it's totally fine. Kay. So you're gonna kind of just do that. Yeah. And then you can grab some ham. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanna get a bigger piece of ham so it like, is like a blanket to your asparagus, you can, mm -hmm. but it kind of folds better if you just do some strips like this. So okay. I usually do two on okay. each one, cause mm -hmm. you know, a little extra ham. Right. So we've got some cheese, we've got some ham, and then you're gonna grab just a couple of these. The pre-seasoned asparagus, we were debating during the commercial break, break about the plural <laughs> tense. I think we think it's just asparagus, asparagus right? Asparagus, yes. I mean, asparagus does kind of roll off the fun, tongue. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. yes. So we're just putting a couple of those guys on uh -huh. there. And then all we're gonna do, we need to kind of like bundle them up. So we've got an egg wash here. Now, I see a lot of the time people do egg wash with like a whole egg, the egg white and the egg yolk. Uh -huh. We don't need the white as much. We mostly just want the fat. So oh. I've got egg yolk in here. Here so it's and, just the yolk. Yeah, egg yolk and then some milk. So we're gonna use this to do two things. So we're gonna use it to keep everything together. So mm -hmm. it's gonna kind of glue our puff pastry okay. once we like tuck them in. Yeah. And then it's also going to go on top afterwards. So For get the wash. dry side first. Yes, and that will help it kind of caramelize because we have those fats uh -huh. from the yolk and from the whole milk. Look at that. I know, look how cute. Okay. All bundled up. We brush brush again for that beautiful mm -hmm. golden brown color. And so, then how long do we bake these for? So so these bake for like, I don't know, 25 minutes, just until 25 to 35 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay. Um, until they are puffed up. Yeah. So sometimes you yeah, go for it. You'll want to like take them out early because you're like, oh, they're looking done, but you really want them like puffy and golden. Puffy. So and will they, more golden they fall a think. little bit, right? Once you pull them out. I mean, you can see like these are oh secret. These were in the fridge all night. They're not even okay. Like fresh baked, beautiful. And they still look great. So we've got 30 seconds. What's our dipping sauce? So it's just mayo, Dijon mustard. We do a little bit of honey and a little bit of lemon to kind of like give it some mm, sweetness. Lindsay. Just salt and pepper. You want to put this on everything. So make yeah. extra, dip whatever in <laughs> okay. the rest of the week. I was like, your ham might have to be part of that party too. I mean, yeah, that just right? looks still fresh and delicious. Exactly. Thank you so much. Where can we get more recipes from you? You can find me at lkcooking.com, lkcooking on Instagram, Facebook, all the places. You do private catering. Yep, private catering, She's classes, the all the things. We'll link you over from our website. Happy Easter. Thank Thanks. you so Thank much. You. On our website, you'll also find today's recipes and all of the pre-Easter prep that we are helping you do this week on Studio 5. So we hope that recipe page becomes a go-to resource in all your Easter dinner planning needs.